Hi, I'm Luca. And I'm Natasha. And welcome to Move Me, where our passion is helping people and our aim is to inspire and guide your journey through yoga, food and life. Move Me is about healthy, conscious and compassionate living. We offer a range of services such as yoga classes, yoga retreats, workshops, workplace yoga and lifestyle coaching. Although Move Me is literally about moving the body through a more active lifestyle, it's also about being moved on a deeper level. It's about being moved inside, feeling excited, inspired and motivated. It's also about being moved to excel, to achieve a goal or a dream, to laugh, to give, to thrive. And we're here to guide your journey and move you to wherever you dream to go. Something we're really excited about offering is workplace yoga because we know just how important it is to take time out each day and stretch the body and relax the mind. This is vital for your personal health and also for the well-being of your workplace. So being able to bring peace and relaxation and energy to people right in their office is a major highlight of what we do. In terms of lifestyle coaching, we can help you with fitness and weight loss goals, food preparation and nutrition. It's really up to you. We're guided by what you need. For example, we can prepare a weekly meal plan for you and your family, and we can even come into your kitchen and show you how to prepare it. Luke is washing the dishes though. <laughs> And for regular yoga classes, we're based in Brisbane and our class timetable and locations will be on our website and also posted on Facebook. And we'll also continue to run yoga retreats as often as we can throughout the week. Over the last five plus years, we've experienced a real transformational journey. <laughs> to say the least. And we now have so much information to share with people about diet and lifestyle, what's worked and what hasn't. And it's our passion to share this information with people and to see you thrive. We're moved by helping others. You'll see on our website that one of the ways we're sharing this message about holistic health is by offering an invite us service. So basically you can invite us into your home your workplace, university or school, or perhaps even an event or a workshop that you're running. Really, wherever it may be, you can call us in and we can give a talk about a variety of topics ranging from holistic health, um, to diet and lifestyle, to thoughts and emotions, compassionate living or yoga. And we'll also be running our own workshops and events. On this channel, we'll be taking you into our kitchen, sharing yoga and health tips, and basically sharing our lives with you. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment or question below, and we'd love you to subscribe to our channel. So first up, why don't we head into the kitchen and make a delicious fruit smoothie for breakfast. Let's do it. So here we are, welcome to Move Me's Kitchen where the magic happens, <laughs> making a breakfast smoothie uh, with bananas and passion fruit. We picked up some magical passion fruit at the local market yesterday. It's good to use whatever fruit is in season. Bananas are always in season, which is great. We've got a combination of Cavendish bananas, which are the typical uh, long ones that you'll find in the store. This is the peel from one of them. Uh, just to show you, we kept it, um, this is when the bananas are ripe. You want plenty of spots uh, on the peel and that indicates that the starch content has actually turned into sugar and therefore the fruit is ripe to eat. So you wait till your bananas look like this and they actually look perfect inside when you peel them they peel very easily. Uh, the ladyfinger variety um, doesn't tend to spot quite as much as the Cavendish variety but what it does do is it breaks away very easily from the stalk or the stem as you can see there and that sort of indicates that it's ready to go. You want them to be nice and soft to bite uh, and to break easily like so. Okay. So what we've done here is I've got about um, 10 bananas uh, each uh, and that pretty much fills this two litre jug. 
And we're going to add our passion fruit now, which I've prepared earlier. That's all the pulp. So we've never made this recipe before, so I'm not exactly sure how many uh, passion fruit we need for this many bananas. I've got about uh, eight passion fruit each to go with that, ten bananas each. And where did you put all the scraps, Luca? The scraps, this is why uh, the fruit-based lifestyle is really clean in that um, your scraps, we keep a 20 litre bucket here, we fill it each day and then we take it out the back and it makes really uh, beautiful compost. So you have very mineral rich soil. So it's a very clean lifestyle. And because we're in Brisbane and it's a little warmer, we're actually um, using some refrigerated filtered water. We just uh, recycle our um, pasta glass jars. <laughs> So, Shh, that's our secret. <laughs> but you can use um, room temperature water, it doesn't have to be refrigerated, particularly if you're living somewhere colder. So I like to fill about halfway with water, maybe even a little bit more, so I don't want it too thick. And this is a personal preference. Uh, I'm going to put all of that actually. That looks beautiful already, look at those colours. Sure does. Yeah. All right. Let's pop the lid on. Come over to our high-speed blender. If you are making large quantities of a smoothie like this, it is a good idea to have a high-speed blender. Um, just makes life a lot easier. Well worth the investment. So pop it on. What we're going to do is we're actually just going to pulse it initially, um, because you want to reduce the oxidisation, and that will reduce uh, any bloating. So we're pulsing it. It's not really letting a big vortex form. Okay, and now we're going to start it on low. So we didn't want to over blend it. How much you blend it is up to you. Um, but we tend to find that if you over blend it, it oxidizes it too much and it does bloat you. So let's have a look at how. Does it smell good? It smells divine actually. I can it smells sort of, tropical. I can almost smell it from here. It's great. So normally we would pour it into our smoothie bottles, but it presents a lot better in a smoothie glass for the video. <laughs> Using a combination of ladyfinger bananas and Cavendish bananas uh, is a good idea because the ladyfingers have that extra sugar content, so it just provides for a little sweeter taste. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay, so taste test. The taste test. Mmm. That's delicious. It's a good idea to chew your smoothie. Don't gulp it down. Uh, chew it as if you were eating food because it is a meal and it's going to help with um, you pre digest the smoothie with the saliva in the, in the mouth. Mm. That's delicious. Yeah, the contrast of the sweet bananas and the acidic passion fruit, it's absolutely delicious. Looking forward to going and enjoying this in the sun. Wow, that's excellent. Thumbs up to Luca. That is really, really good. That's delicious. So we're going to enjoy these in the sun. And uh, thanks again for watching. Be sure to give it the thumbs up. Post your comments and your questions down below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Let's move together. Cheers. Mm.